There are massive changes coming to Medicare Advantage plans in 2025. In fact, it's such a gigantic thing that's on the horizon. I am so surprised that it's not being talked about more. So in this video, we're going to jump into it. My name is Christian Brindle. I'm a licensed insurance agent specializing in Medicare health plans. I'm also the owner and the operator of my insurance agency licensed in over 45 states. Christian Brindle Insurance Services, also known as Everything Senior Insurance. And today we're going to be talking about Medicare Advantage. So what is the deal? So for those of you that are not familiar with what Medicare Advantage is, Medicare Advantage is essentially when you take your Medicare and it is ran through a private insurance company. It's ran through a private insurance company in the form of them administering benefits for Medicare. So you no longer have original Medicare paying your claims. Your original Medicare is still active, opposed to popular belief that says that it's not or you lose it or anything like that. In fact, you can go back to original Medicare anytime you wish. It's the Medicare supplement plans that sometimes you're not able to pick up due to health questions, but original Medicare at any time you wish you can go back to it during open enrollment, that is. But with Medicare Advantage plans, they're taking over the responsibility of administering the claims. They're funding the private insurance companies in order to actually take care of your overall benefits. And typically, it's very common for Medicare Advantage plans to provide medical coverage, prescription drug coverage, dental vision hearing, and a slew of additional benefits that Medicare uh, on its own sometimes does not cover. So what is the big change that's coming in 2025? Well, Several years ago, the Biden administration passed a act called the Inflation Reduction Act. There's so many different areas of the economy that are impacted in the Inflation Reduction Act, but there's a portion of it that has specifically to do with Medicare prescription drug coverage and Medicare prescription drug pricing and Medicare prescription drug structure of how the coverage actually works that the insurance companies provide. When you're on Medicare, there's two different ways that you can get prescription drug coverage. You can either get it through a Medicare Advantage plan where it's built into your plan, or if you go the original Medicare route, you can get it as a standalone individual prescription drug plan. Now, what is happening is come 2025, there is a mandatory $2,000 cap, essentially a maximum amount of pocket being placed on all Medicare prescription drug coverages across the board, whether it be Medicare Advantage or whether it be original Medicare with a Part D prescription drug plan. Now, why does this matter, right? Well, Medicare prescription drug coverage, or Part D as it's commonly referred to, is not it does not have a history of ever having any kind of maximum out of pocket. In fact, this year in 2024 was the first time ever that you could get to a point where you'd have full coverage on your prescription drug coverage. Medicare Part D coverage historically has gone through stages of drug coverage. Essentially, the more you use it, the different stages you go through over the course of the year. Many people are familiar with things known as the donut hole or the coverage gap or anything like that, right? And so your coverage in, um, in terms of how good it is can fluctuate up and down and everything like that. Um, but it never had a $2,000 a year maximum out of pocket cap. Now, prior to this, really for people to get to a point where they would get to what's known as catastrophic coverage, that prescription drug costs that they would have to incur oftentimes were multiple thousands of dollars, okay? So now that the fact that the insurance company has to guarantee a $2,000 cap is going to create a relatively big domino effect going into 2025. We did a video talking about how this was going to impact individual uh, prescription drug standalone plans that go with original Medicare and Medicare supplements, but it will also impact Medicare Advantage plans as well. Just might impact them a little differently. So Medicare Advantage plans get funding from the government, a lot more funding than individual prescription drug plans do. So what's the big deal, right? You think they'd be able to weather the storm? Well, not necessarily when you combine it with the fact that the Biden administration has also announced that they're going to be cutting the funding for Medicare Advantage plans just slightly going into 2025. This is bad timing for the Medicare Advantage insurance companies due to the fact that their claims are going to be higher on the prescription drug side due to this $2,000 cap, okay? Um, in addition to that, with inflation and normal increasing costs of medical care, the costs for the Medicare Advantage plans are going to go up each year to administer this coverage. Medical care goes up, the cost of them covering the medical care goes up, right? So if their funding gets cut, but their costs go up, 
they are in a rough situation, not to mention the fact that they have to endure a man a mandatory $2,000 maximum out-of-pocket cap on all plans. So what we're going to see is we're going to see some similarities to what we see on the individual prescription drug plan side. Formularies shrinking. There's not as many prescriptions that they're going to cover. Overall costs for the percentages of out-of-pocket that somebody's going to pay is going to go up. It's going to be very common for somebody that spent four, five, six hundred dollars a year in prescription drug costs to now spend twelve hundred or thirteen hundred a year. People that never got close to the two thousand dollar maximum out of pocket cap are going to get much closer because the prescription drug coverage will not be probably as as good and for anything under that two thousand dollar cap. Now for the people that spend thousands and thousands a year that get into the donut hole every year this will actually be a good thing for them on the prescription drug plan side, but we will see formularies shrink. We will see costs go up. On the individual prescription drug plan side, I said that the cost of the premiums was going to skyrocket. A lot of people think that that can't happen. It will most likely, we believe, happen in 2025. That's what we're kind of projecting, although time will tell. We don't have any specifics as of yet. Now, some Medicare Advantage plans might be able to keep some of the prescription drug coverage intact. They might just choose to impact other areas of the coverage instead. So instead of really having the prescription drug coverage really deteriorate, you might see medical costs go up, maximum out of pockets rise, co-pays for things like hospital stays, specialist visits go up. You might see ancillary benefits like dental coverages, glasses coverage, hearing aid coverage get reduced. And so I think every plan is going to have a different reaction to how they ha- they really have to make cuts on their plan, but every single plan is expected to make cuts. And if you look at the current landscape and the current trajectory in 2024, most of the big name insurance companies have come out and said that they their costs are much higher than were projected. There's even one insurance company without naming the name that in just quarter one alone said in their stock call to their their investors that they had spent an additional $900 million extra in claims above what they were projecting going into the new year. That's not a bit, that's not a small number, right? We're talking about a billion dollars in extra claims, right? And not just a billion dollars total in claims, a billion dollars above what they were projecting. And this is kind of the sentiment we're, we're hearing from a lot of the big name insurance companies when they're talking to their investors. And that's really the best way you can kind of get a jump on what these insurance companies are going to be doing. There's another insurance company that's decided to exit the Medicare space altogether and sell their entire portfolio to another insurance company altogether. We're going to see a lot of disruption. There's going to be a lot of plan changes. There might even be plans in a lot of areas that get canceled and pull out of markets. And that people that are on those plans will be forced to pick up something new. So this is going to impact Medicare plans as a whole. It won't just impact individual prescription drug plans. It will impact Medicare Advantage plans as well, just differently. It might not necessarily 100% be on the prescription drug plan side. On some plans, it will. On other plans, it might be other areas such as medical, dental, ancillary benefits. And this is really a, a domino effect because if you, anytime the government squeezes the insurance companies, there's always a domino effect to where they have to pivot in order to make up the loss of those profits, okay? So this is kind of what we're seeing. It's going to be a very difficult time for Medicare beneficiaries, and we will be bringing you updates and information every step of the way as we learn more, as we get closer to open enrollment, and, and as open enrollment starts to really you know, kick off and we when we know a lot more, okay? But this is coming. This might be the most disruptive and uh, impactful Medicare open seasons that we've ever had in my career working with individuals on Medicare. If you'd like somebody to work with you on your Medicare plan, or maybe you're turning 65, you just need some guidance, my company can help. We're licensed in, again, about 45 states. Give our office a call. One of our licensed sales agents can help you. We are independent. We work with a multitude of different insurance companies, so we can help you sort through your options and find the best one based on your needs and preferences. Our office number is 801-255-5340. Again, that's 801-255-5340. We'd love to talk with you. Um, We have a great reputation. We have thousands of satisfied clients, and we work with people on Medicare supplement plans on the original Medicare side and with Medicare Advantage members. We kind of specialize in all things Medicare, and we can kind of help advise you. There's no cost or obligation for our services. Hope you found this video helpful, insightful. If you did, 
we, you could do us a great favor by smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It's going to help more people just like you find this information who need to find this information, who really need to hear it. Comment your thoughts down below. What do you guys think? Do you feel like we're going to have a lot of disruption this open enrollment period? We'd love to have a dialogue with you about it. If you'd like to subscribe for more Medicare information, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and we will see you next time on, on the next video. Thank you much for watching, and happy Medicare and everybody.